Tony Adderley, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you so much indeed. Hey. Oh, good to be here. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, mate. So let's yeah, get... No, all good, all good. All let's good. go straight into it because you are doing this massive swing tour, uh, which is culminating in quite a few uh, generous gig venues. Uh, tell us all about the swing tour. What's it all about? Well, it, it, it started, I've got to give this one to the Ronnie Scott's Orchestra. Uh, they invited me back in the summer to do the Cheltenham Jazz Festival. Pretty prestigious, you know, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. And uh, hadn't sung, done a swing concert in a good few years. Uh, but I thought, wow, okay, do this. So pretty nervous before I went on, thinking, am I going to remember all the words? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it went down a storm, got a standing ovation, and I thought, wow, this is great. Uh, my manager said to me, he said, look, you know, you love doing this. Why don't we do a tour, uh, put a swing album together, vinyl, which is with coloured vinyl as well. We can move the contemporary album back to 25. We've got enough time to do that. You haven't finished it yet. So, so we decided that that's what we're doing. So we've got a, it's called The Mood I'm In, and uh, and the tour's in, in, in the whole of March with, like you say, some really lovely, lovely venues. Yeah, but one of those venues is the London Palladium as well. How's that for you? Yeah, it's, it is one of the great places to play because I think with a lot of these, especially the older venues, you you realise, I mean, I remember last time I was at the Palladium, I saw a poster for Danny Kay. I don't know if anyone remembers Danny Kay. Oh, we do indeed, a, yes. An amazing performer, actor. So, you, you know, ev- everyone, Judy Garland played their Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, so all these greats, and then when you think about all the performances, you know, Sunday night at the Palladium with uh, Bruce uh, Forsyth, Bruce wasn't it? Parnell, the, the Parnell. Yeah, I mean, it was and in front of the Queen and everything else. So a pretty spectacular place to play, yeah. Now, how hard is it for you to sing swing? Because it is a different mode. It's a different style than normal pop singing, per yeah. se. Yeah. How do you get into that? Because you've either got it or you ain't, as the song says. Well, I mean, really, that that comes from my parents when we were we were kids growing up. Um, Sunday morning, mum preparing lunch and stuff, and uh, and they, my dad would always be playing records. It'd be it would be Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy, the, the, the Rat Pack, you know, yeah. uh, Tony Bennett, Jack Jones, all all those great great singers and. Uh, and so I grew up listening to that kind of music. And when we formed the band in 76, and I was, you know, quite, we, we formed it as a school band. My mum and dad said to me, look, you know, if you're really keen on being a singer, you know, really have a good listen to these guys. And so I did. I sort of studied it quite intensely, actually, the way their phrasing was and everything else. And although I was into the Pistols and the Clash, uh, I was I was still into Sinatra and Tony Bennett. So, um and it is, like you say, it's a different... Because when you're doing pop rock, it's much more powerful. You're, you're, a lot of the songs are quite high. So, you you know, I mean, if you take a song even like Lifeline, I mean, it, it's a pretty pretty high up there. Um, and Queen, we always do a Queen song as well, so that's pretty high. But when you're doing the croony stuff, it is, generally speaking, a lot more laid back and a lower key. And it's just... You, you can really get into the song and the interpretation. It's just got a different vibe altogether. Yeah, because you have to feel the music, don't you, when you're singing swing? Uh, as I say, you, and you've said many you, times before, you sing direct with pop music and rock tunes, but with swing, there is a there's a, a kind of sway to the whole thing. Well, there is, yeah, there is a sway, and you've, you've got to make sure you've got the rhythm right and everything else. I mean, you want to put feeling into every song you sing, whether it be a pop rock song or whatever, but with swing i mean you know some of the time it's just you and a piano uh it's just you and a little small part of the brass section or uh a few strings or whatever so it's 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 a kind of much more intimate affair and i think that you know blessing tony bennett i saw him two years ago at the royal albert hall and he's sadly died now and there's hardly anyone i suppose apart from michael buble really that are singing those kind of classic swing songs um and and they're great songs. There's a lot of comfort in them. I mean, people of a certain age love them. But even younger people, you meet them and they go, oh, yeah, a bit of Frank, a bit of Tony Bennett. Well, hey, love that. Yeah. And uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a good era for music, really cool. 
So let's talk about the album then. Obviously, as it states, there's a lot of swing in there. There's a lot of big band sounds. Uh, you, you've got one of my faves in there, Gigolo, which I sub. Do you really like singing that on stage? Because I bet that gets everybody going. Yeah, well, it's the old Louis Prima song. Yeah, it's, it's a cheeky, it's a cheeky lyric. I mean, I mean, there's a couple of songs that that we're performing. I mean, there's a song that uh, recorded by Jack Jones back in '66, I think, called "Wives and Lovers," and and it's a lyric that you would not write today. <laughs> and but it's 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 kind of it's almost like something out of the Stepford Wives. <laughs> I mean, it really is, but. Uh, but hey, I'm going to do it. It's uh, why not? It's part of musical history. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Uh, what other songs on the album can we look forward to then? Well, we've done. There's a new new song called "Walk of Shame," um, and that's a sort of kind of brassy, almost like a Santanery sort of Tom Jones kind of a vibe to it. Uh, we've covered a Doors song called "Tupperie," which has got a real '60s vibe to it, real '60s swing. The Moon I'm In, which is a classic Jack Jones song. Uh, one for My Baby, Sinatra, That's Life, Sinatra, yep. Tony Bennett. Uh, so there's, there's a bit of everything. On the vinyl album, you can only put so many tracks on because it's not like a CD or anything we can put exactly, loads. Exactly, yeah. So you, you, you and we, we had the album cut in Germany. And oh, that's the phone going. So anyway, <laughs> we had the album cut in Germany. So it, it, it's at half speed. So it sounds amazing. Awesome. Honestly, it sounds. Phenomenal, I'm sure it is. You're coming to York, uh, to York Barbican, uh, around yeah. the 9th, I do believe, of uh, of March, which uh, I need to double check on that one, but uh, I'll get my facts straight. Uh, but uh, you're coming to York Barbican. People need to get tickets. Are there any left, dare we say? I, I'm not sure there are, actually. <laughs> um, I think it's sold out. But, well, um, in that case, you, you they just need to—they need to buy the album. <laughs> That's as simple as that. <laughs> well, sometimes you get you get returns and stuff. So I mean, you know, I mean, it's always difficult, isn't it? I mean, the tour is nearly sold out. So we're doing. Uh, yeah, it's the, you're right. It's Friday the eighth of March is the barbecue in York, but. Um, You know, if you can't go there, you can always travel elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Listen, it's been great to speak to you, but we're not going to let you go without putting your mind and knowledge to the test. So we're going to do a quick game. We're going to do a quick game. It's called How Well Do You Know You? (laughs) So what we're going to do is ask... Oh, dear. Not not very well. (laughs) Ask you some quick-fire questions. You need to answer them as quickly and as thoughtfully as possible. Uh, And your time starts... Now, what was your first solo song that debuted at 42 in the UK charts in the 1990s? Uh, Dance with me. Lost in your love. There you go. Oh, God, right, okay. What album, <laughs> what album was that from? Uh, the State of Play. Well done! Yeah. One point! <laughs> One point. What was the original yeah. band name of Spandau Ballet called? Uh, the Root. Are you sure it wasn't The Cut? No, that was the one after The Root. Oh, so hey, hey, <laughs> hey, this is great. This is good stuff. So that's like a bonus point. <laughs> 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 Who did you team together with? In Out of the Blue in 1999 from the album The Time Machine. Oh, Alan Parsons. Yes, well done. Another point on that one. And also your final question, your final question is, what is my favourite song from 2020 that you released? It was one of two, obvious or because of you? Because of you. That was obvious. Obviously. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, honestly, honestly, you you have released some great songs, and just going through all of these to to come up with those questions, you know, there's some really good stuff. You you back in 2006, you did the mood I'm in, didn't you? In uh, with passing strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has been remastered and we've re recorded some new songs as well. Brilliant. So stuff. Whole, and it's never been it's never been properly released, to be honest. And this time it's on coloured vinyl. 
different coloured vinyl. Okay. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that people are going back to vinyl in, in 2024. Uh, the records rule at the moment. I think they're fantastic. I, I think it's good. I mean, even my 17 year old daughter, she's got a record player now. And so she's got Taylor, Taylor Swift and Shawn Mendes and Olivia Rodriguez and stuff like that. So she's getting all this. You know, and she really loved it. I mean, you know, I think it's the fact that you can actually physically hold something and go, wow, this is mine. It's not just in the Ethernet or whatever. So uh, whatever it is. Well, we, we've just recently uh, introduced our kids to vinyl. And uh, I've got son who's 15, daughter who's 18, and they absolutely love it. And yeah. we have vinyl nights. We go into our, our bar, which is down at the bottom of our garden. Oh. We put the records on, and it's just fantastic. And when we introduce them to vinyl, it was in Dornburn, uh, which is uh, in the Netherlands, and there was a record shop. And you know, you know, Tony, yeah. it has that smell, doesn't it? it? Has that certain smell about it, that je ne sais quoi yeah. about a vinyl record. And when they first were introduced to this shop, they were running wild. They were, they've got Eminem, Dad. They've got Eminem. <laughs> and my, my daughter, she's so heavily into Elton John. She's a very, very big Elton John fan. Yeah. And they had lots and lots of stuff to do with Elton John, lots of different records. So we came back with this massive pile oh, to the counter, and I'm thinking, how much is this going to cost? And to be honest, how we, much is this? Yeah. Well, we were surpri- very surprised. It only cost us forty quid for all this massive stack of original really? vinyl. I know. So we hit lucky on that day. Oh, we really hit we're lucky. Talking about Elton John, the first, and I was going through some records the other day. The first double album I ever bought was Goodbye Yellow Brick, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. Wow. Fantastic. I'll tell my daughter that. Masterpiece. We went to go and see him yeah. on his tour uh, twice. Yeah. Went to go and see him in Manchester and also Barcelona as well. That's how big a fan that she is as well. But, uh, you know, whatever my daughter wants, she'll get. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> uh, Tony, it's oh, been... that's fantastic. That's good news. It's been brilliant to speak to you. We wish you the very best of luck with the tour. And when you're in York, just pop your head around the corner, won't you? We're only just out, literally around the corner. Get in touch with Joe. We'll sort it out. Or uh, Yeah, and come along if you can. Oh, we'll do. To the I will do. Thank you, All Tony. Right. Listen, lovely speeches. You too. God Thank bless you. Time. Thank you. Take care, Macy. Bye-bye Bye. now.